our online class, student of class 10, now study mathematics, chapter 4, quadratic equation. Last class we study the exercise 4.1, 4.2, now we study the solve the quadratic equation by complete factorization method, sorry, complete squaring method, complete squaring method. Now, the one equation given, suppose 3x square minus 5x plus 2, 3x square minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0, this equation we can come solve by complete squaring method. Now you look here 3x square is not a 3 is not a square number. So first we convert into it in square number. How we can become the square? If we multiply 3 it become the 9 then become the square. Or here divided by 3 then it become also square. Due to divided by 3 it become the 3 3 cancel then x square then it become also a square number. This time suppose here now 3x square minus 5x equal to minus 3. Now if I divide the 3 both side 3x square by 3 minus 5x by 3 equal to minus 2 by 3. Okay. Now result become the x square minus 5x by 3 equal to minus 2 by 3. Now here I put this term in a minus b whole square form. A square form. How? Here become the a square minus 2 a the x b. What should be multiplied here in place of b that become 5x by 3. Now if I here take 5 by 6, suppose I take the 5 by 6 means 2, 3 the 6, so it becomes the 5x by 3. So now here b become the 5 by 6 whole square b square, but in this place b square is not present, so I give a can be subtract here 5 by 6 square equal to minus 2 by 3. Now from this point to this point it becomes the a minus b whole square minus 25 by 36 equal to minus 2 by 3. Now x square minus 5 by 6 x square equal to minus 2 by 3 plus 25 by 36. Here x square minus 5 by 6 x square equal to take the LCM 36 divided by this become the 12. 12 into 2 equal to 24 plus divided by this 1 become the 25. Now here x minus 5 by 6 x square equal to 1 by 36. Now you find x minus 5 by 6 whole square equal to 1 by 36 square root. That become 36. Then x minus 5 by 6 equal to plus minus 1 by 6. Now x equal to 5 by 6 plus minus 1 by 6. So x value we find 5 plus x equal to we take the LCM 6 5 plus minus 6. Now x value we can find 5 plus 6 by 6 and another 5 minus 6 by 6. So x equal to 11 by 6, another 1 by 6. It is your root of this given quadratic equation. Okay? Then another method. Here another method we can find this value. 
sorry, here is the number, it becomes the 1, not 6, sorry, so it becomes also 1 and 1, this becomes 6 by 6 equal to cancel 1 and it becomes the 4 by 6, this is the 2 by 3 equal to 2 by 1 and 2 by 3, yes, then this method, can another method we can be solved here, Suppose here, we are dividing, now we can multiply 3, here another 3x square minus 5x equal to minus 2, now we can multiply 3 in both sides, then 9x square minus 15x equal to minus 6, we multiply both sides, now here it becomes the 3 square minus 2 a b become 40 then it become the 15 x here 5 back 2 b become the 5 back 2 2 2 2 cancel then 5 3 the 15 x here b square is nothing so 5 back 2 b square minus 5 back 2 square equal to minus 6 now from this point to this point 3x minus 5 by 2x square minus 25 by 4 equal to minus 6. Then 3x minus 5 by 2 whole square equal to minus 6 plus 25 by 4. Now 3x minus 5 by 2 square it becomes the 4 minus 24 plus 25. 3x minus 5 by 2 square equal to 1 by 4. Then 3x minus 5 by 2 square not square equal to 1 by 4 square. Now here 3x minus 5 by 2 equal to plus minus 1 by 2, 3x equal to 5 by 2 plus minus 1 by 2, then 3x equal to LCM factor 2, 5, plus minus 1 then x equal to 5 plus minus by 6 this 3 come to here divide so x become equal to 5 plus 1 by 6 another 5 minus 1 by 6 so x equal to 6 by 6 equal to 1 then 4 by 6 equal to 2 by 3 so both method you can be used. If you how you can find the square form. Suppose any nothing method, then you can directly do also. If you are in numerical, that can multiply double to become the square, or that can you can be divide also. Okay. Next class we study the quadratic equation. They are solving by use formula.